Okay, what we're going to do is just jump in to this really quick setup of a Formula Z11 Pro. Um, this will also work with the Z11 Pro Max and even probably the Z Mini since they use My TV Online 3. So we're just going to go through the setups here. We're going to go English. Now, I don't do Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip this. And I'm going to go to the setup wired. That means you're uh, directly plugging in through an Ethernet port. Let's make sure this is working. You can see the network summary. I'm going to press the OK button. I'm going to press America. And it doesn't matter where I pick here. So let's just do that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is hit no. I don't want the 24 hour format. I like this date format. And then I'm going to press OK on the uh, remote control to hit complete. The next thing it, it's going to happen is it's going to go through a software update. And one of the best things about formula devices, if you didn't know, they do regular software updates. In other words, they keep the bugs out and they give you good release notes of what you're installing. So this is really going to be helpful if you, when you put your TV in it or whatever you do. It's going to be helpful because the device or the software is going to run at an optimal level. What I'm going to do is go ahead and hit that really quick. And then we're going to let this go ahead and install. And then we'll be back in a moment once it's done. All right, when everything is done, you should land on this launcher page. This is the launcher page you should get very used to. It has My TV Online 3, which will run all your live TV and, and, and all your other movies and everything that you would set up. The next thing you wanna do is just see what the apps are here. It's very clean. One thing about Formula is they don't put a bunch of bloatware or a bunch of stuff you don't need. And speaking of things you might need, you want to go to this market app right here. Go ahead and let it open. These are default applications that you can install, use, whatever it might be. One of them is we love to sideload. And one of the best ones to do that with is downloader right here. So we're just going to go ahead and install that right here. Great. And so you can see that downloader is ready to use. I'm going to hit the back button a couple of times. The next thing you want to do is maybe put a speed test. This is a good utility. So here's a good speed test. Let's go ahead and install that speed test there. Um, for every new client or if you're new, you want to know what your internet speed is. And you, you just want to be able to do that. And having these apps make it very, very, very easy to do. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the home button to go back to the home. Every time you put something on your device, it's going to be at the far right. Now, while we're here, if you ever want to move these, you want to highlight this, hold down the OK button until it shades and grays out. Then start, you know, clicking the directional pad to the left there to release it. There's an arrow or back key. You hit that back key and hit it again. You're there. Let's go ahead and move it again. So we're going to move the speed test over, highlight this, 
and you would just go ahead and push this to the left to be right there. Now, that's pretty cool. So if you didn't know, the, the formula Z11 Pro uses the My TV Online 3, which is probably one of the best things you can have on the device. So, but while we're here, let's go ahead and connect the Gmail so we can check out the Google Play Store. One thing we love about Formula is they have a great Google Play Store. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in right now. So we're gonna go here and we're just gonna sign in like here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and sign in. So let's go ahead and do that now. And you want to go ahead and enter the password. And then we're going to get one more character and go here. Get rid of the keyboard. Go down and hit next. So if this is your first time too, it might ask you on your phone. There I am and I'm on Google Play. So you can see that this is the full Play Store. This is not a mobile Play Store. If I go to search, it is the full new Play Store. And if you're still looking for a downloader, let's say you're looking for that, if you didn't want to go to the market, this is why the, the Google Play Store is so awesome because you could hit the letter D and you'll see that downloaders right there. So using the Google Play Store is big if you wanted to do that, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on unknown sources. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go down to settings and then we're gonna go down to device preferences and press okay. And then we're gonna go down to, uh, let me see here, uh, maybe display and sound. Is that about? No. I don't think it's about that's another thing hang on let me find it is it not storage nope okay so I, I figured it out a little bit thank you for your patience what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to find the unknown sources we're gonna hit the settings and then we're gonna go down to apps and let's say we want uh, to see all apps and I'm gonna find the app here so let's say it's downloader then i'm going to go down here and i'm going to go to permissions and then i can go ahead and give it additional permissions if i like and that's one way you can definitely do that so if i'm going to do follow the media i would do that i'll allow always you can always allow that to work and that way you can always turn on unknown apps all right so the next thing that we're going to do this is always a good thing is what we're gonna also do is let's go to the remote control app. One of the, another one here that is not already on here. It is, it's the remote control app. This is a really good application. This application, one thing about the Z11 Pro and all formula devices, the remote control that they give you, whether it's a legacy remote control or this one here, the GTV IR1, which comes with the Z11 Pro, it's very uh, interactive with the device. So it's gonna run at a very, very good level. It's gonna show you and, and, and make it a lot easier. One of the things you can do is set up your hotkeys. So you can set up your hotkeys, whether it be the color keys. So let's say I wanna start an app with the red button. You choose that and I'm gonna start the speed test with the red button. Another thing you can do is there's no mouse toggle, but you can change it to a mouse by choosing one of these keys, say here. And then I'm gonna do a single tap, I'll tap that. Then you'll find what you want the command to do. And I'm gonna find the mouse right here. So if I do that right there, and then I hit the button here, a single tap, it'll bring up a mouse. So that's really, that's how you find the mouse toggle right there. All right, so that's pretty cool. You wanna make sure that you do uh, the commands or the remote control. So that's, I'm gonna go back to the home page here. The next thing I wanna do as we continue the video is I wanna go ahead and authorize developer options to do that. Cause there's a couple of things we like to turn on, make it snappier and, and all that good stuff. 
and we're going to hit the uh, settings but, uh, wheel there. We're going to go down to device preferences. We're going to go to about. We'll go down to the build here, right here. I think this is it right here. We're going to press this eight times, I believe. There it is. We are now a developer. You want to hit the back button to go to the previous screen and go down to developer options. Go ahead and open it. You can see that we've enabled developer options. We're gonna go down a little bit and change a couple of things here. And it's really easy. So window animation, you wanna turn that to 0.5. These are gonna, the transition animation, you wanna turn that to 0.5. And then you wanna turn this also to 0.5. And that's one of the best things you can do. The last thing I wanna authorize DB, USB, uh, USB debugging, I want that. Uh, for side loading and that's what we will do right there so everything is really 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 uh snappier so let's take a look at the sound settings here because you can do a lot of different things here like for instance you can change your name you can restart here um, if i go down to display and sound you can control i want to change this 8dr that about images i'm going to change that to a different things and so we're going to go ahead and keep that and keep it moving this way and that way you can see that it will adapt to the box and so now we're going to go to advanced display settings and you can allow game mode or turn off game mode now i normally turn it off because i don't play games on my device mainly and then if you go to the advanced sound settings, you can select the format that you want to use. I'm always going to allow the box to choose the format that it wants to use, making it a lot easier and a lot better. All right. You always want to let the box to me, let the box do what it's going to do. And that way it'll adapt and make those changes right away and automatically. All right. So that's always a good thing there. Now, the next thing we're going to focus on is on the home page is the launcher settings. If I come down here to the launcher settings, notice that the home page has the hotkeys here. You got your software, your power uh, software update, power mode, system info, network storage, which it means if you have another like a um, an external hard drive. But we're going to go to launcher settings. This is the launcher that we're on. And there's a lot of different things that you can do here. So if I wanted to change an app group and create a new app group, I can create an app group by enabling it, renaming it, and then selecting the apps I want to put in that group. So I usually have my TV groups or I have my utility groups, but I keep it super simple. And that's a good thing. So you can always disable it too. So you don't need to have it on like that. So it is a good thing. All right. Another thing people uh, don't talk about is the locker. So if there's something on here that you don't want your kids to see, that is a good thing. You can put that app in the locker and create a pin. All right. Now, speaking of parental pin or parental settings, the default password for everything is four zeros. It's zero, 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 unless you change it. If you change it, please remember what you make it or you will have to do a hard reset. But this is a great thing to have just in case you have some very uh, some adult content that you don't want anyone to see and you need the parental pen so that way you can be a good parent <laughs> or guardian. The next thing is the startup app. You can have something start up every time the box comes on. Some people choose the My TV Online when they have their live TV and information in there. Some people choose YouTube. That's really cool. So this launcher page even lets you customize channels, but because I don't have any IPTV or any uh, services or whatever they call them in there, you're not gonna see any customization there. Um, but when you put your own in there, or if you receive a box or get a box like we do, where they're already activated, then you can customize that channel group. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing there is we're gonna go ahead and I want to go ahead and um, just take off some things. One thing I like about formula is they don't have a lot of bloatware. In other words, they don't, they're, they're very lean. So um, <coughs> I usually go through the apps and un uninstall what I don't need. ExpressVPN, I do not need that. 
so we can uninstall that but I think that is all and that is about it and so that really should if you've done that this box is completely set up and ready to go I mean because you have all of the different things that are, are available you can install Tubi you can install some other things that you want uh, from the Google Play Store or maybe Downloader. But this device is probably the one of the best devices out there. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, it's one of our uh, lovely customers says, hey, can you do a quick walkthrough of a Formula Z11 model? I normally use the Z11 Pro Max, but I found the Z11 Pro. I did not have any, and so I, I ordered some so I can use them on my free giveaway. So anyone that has seen this, this device right here, the Z11 Pro, and you would like to have it, I'll give you a great discount on it. If you want to follow the prompts or whatnot, uh, and the 858 number or the number in the description of the video, um, I'm going to resell it to someone that really wants it. Now, it will be completely empty, which means you're going to have to add your own live television and internet and all that uh, content on it. It'll be ready to go. I think these, I think these normally go for about $140 empty so if you really want this device i'd love to make a deal with you and uh we will give it to you for a good discounted price brand new but this is the quick walkthrough of what we consider the best media device on the market the formula formula z11 models including the z mini are the number one devices for uh top devices for media streaming and content and entertainment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'll put a link in the description of the video. Uh, that way you can see a non-hindered uh, really breakdown of this device. And I appreciate you guys watching. Don't keep the boxman a secret because we're helping people change the way that they watch TV. We'll see you next time. Take care.